I moved to Alabama. You have been in Alabama quite some time. You have no idea where this is going. Born and raised, great. man. Come on. 40, uh, but I feel like years. now that I've been here a few years, there is the, uh, not stigma, but like I'm starting to think like I'm an Alabamian. Yeah. But if you were to say there are three things that you just, maybe the nation thinks of Alabama. Good, bad, yeah. and different. That we're bad, but feel we don't like, wear shoes. <laughs> okay, so you just hit family, number one. Family tree doesn't branch, right? <laughs> That's probably a little further north, but let's. So, so I did something just recently in my life that made me. As soon as it happened in my house, yeah. I was like, I, I live in Alabama. Yeah. Do you what know what it was? I have no idea. I have an above ground swimming pool in my backyard. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the club. <laughs> You're only truly an Alabama if you build a redwood deck around it. You know. Sorry, got work to do, man. It's not enough to have the So the fact that I use pine is... Ha- yeah, is that good? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was thinking I, if I put it in my front yard, then I'd be Yeah, in, put but, the deck uh, right. But anyway, that's so... That's good. Uh, I don't know what made me think about that, but I was so excited to use that line, and it didn't hit well, the Well, but it's that summer, it and it's... Uh, but hold it's on, a, so you got two things. Yeah. The family tree doesn't split. I, I think that wasn't it. But so shoes, pool, what, what's the third one since you've it's, been here? It's usually since I've been here again. I've only ever been here. <laughs> Correct, I guess. That, I, that most of us have all our teeth, except for Alabama fans. They don't have... A lot of them don't have. Gosh. Oregon. We have a lot of uh, Alabama fans here in the office, and you just. That's right. All right. Well, we are gathered here What's today. Up? Yes. <laughs> to, to, talk, talk. to talk not about Alabama. No, but about youth ministry volunteers. Youth ministry volunteers. You know, for some of us, some of y'all have got that dialed in. That's not a big, but for yeah. others, that phrase right there has just struck fear into your heart. Yeah, well, some hopefully would not be like, so what's a youth ministry volunteer? <laughs> a volunteer? Or there's some that are listening or watching that would say, I am a youth ministry volunteer. I am the only youth ministry volunteer <laughs> so what do you mean in by youth it? ministry. Really, this is the category that we would say might be somebody coming alongside a Sunday school teacher, yeah. uh, small group leader, uh, games, yeah. uh, worship on, on a midweek program yeah. kind of thing. So it's people that are serving alongside of people you. People that help you carry the load. Th- yeah, that's right. I used a thousand words. You are uh, a man well, of very we, we got a lot of intense purpose. We'll we, we shake you out. <laughs> so we just want to leave kind of four things today yeah. about how to find and how to get youth ministry volunteers. Yeah, the first thing we've, we've actually going to talk about, I think we, you and I may have actually mentioned this before yeah, kind of in call. a previous um, podcast, but it's basically that the worst thing we can do when we're getting a volunteer, we're trying to get volunteers to, to sign up, to partner with us, mm-hmm. is to call them to a task yeah. instead of calling them to a vision, right? Um, oh my gosh. The worst thing we can do is say, hey, I need a, a you know, I, I've, and usually we make this appeal when time is running out, right? When when <laughs> when Sunday yes. school starts in two weeks yeah. for the fall, yep. And we say, hey, I, I need I need um an adult male to teach eighth grade boys at se- at eight o'clock hour, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's calling people to a task. You're filling this the last. Yeah, spot. It, yeah. You're looking yeah. for a warm body. Yeah. The, the the better way to to try to call volunteers is to look at somebody and say, hey, man, I've been watching you. Mm-hmm. You know, I see mm-hmm. the way that you interact mm-hmm. with your family or your whatever. Yeah. Right. I think you would be great at pouring into these eighth grade boys. I mean, they really yeah. need you to invest in them. That yeah. is that's calling somebody to a vision. Yes. And not a task. Yeah. And we're much more successful when we do that. In the longevity of things, That's too, right. right? Oh, yeah. Because sometimes we could just say, well, that task is done. Now, yeah. now I'm out, right? Yeah. Versus I catch the bigger yeah, part vision. part of something. Yeah. yeah. So I think the first thing is, yeah. is call them to a vision, not just a task. I totally agree with that. The, the one that I have is uh, you got to make the ask, right? Yeah. So I think sometimes, it, it, I was guilty of this, is that I would say, well, youth ministry is happening in such a way that people are just going to want to come up and be a part yeah. of it. That's and right. that's the goal, right? Yeah, that's that it's, right. That people are like begging. To, to serve, right. and you're like, no, 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 no. But at the same time, I th- then would say, well, we don't have youth ministry volunteers because nobody's raising their hand. Yeah. But instead of just like you said, the, the call to a vision or to a purpose, not a task, but to actually go up and say, hey, Andy, yeah. you know, would you want to serve for a season? in our student ministry. Yeah. And so I think you, we need to be bold enough to, to make the ask, not just assume it's going to be there. Yeah, and I think the, the, the more we can do that relationally, yeah. it's, it's easy to, to maybe send an email, but sometimes that's best over, over lunch. Right? I was just thinking that same thing. Like, I do not know why, but now I feel like because I can text or email yeah, like, the, like this. Everything happens here, yeah. Especially if there's going to be a no involved. <laughs> and it will right. say like, hey, right. need you to lead, uh, to come and be a part of the youth ministry, and it'd be great. Yeah. But if not, don't worry yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, just let me it, know. Yeah. You know, instead of just being like, hey, can we go to coffee? That's right. You know, hey, can yeah. we grab a meal together? 
So. Yeah, so well, that's good. Um, the other thing is how are we how are we defining what we want people to be a part of? So uh, you and I were talking earlier. It can be a little intimidating if I say to you, "Hey, Jake, I just I want you to be a part of it. I need you to be um, the small group leader for these girls, right? Okay. Uh, these guys." Okay, I prefer what, the guys. I mean, <laughs> well, I, I understand <laughs> them a little more. So it's just I'm glad yeah, yeah. if you're using me. Let's, that's right. Yeah. That, never, I have a whole lot of jokes there. We're just going <laughs> to sit, sit on those, right? Yeah. But like, um, if we don't define that term, sometimes sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. Yeah. Right. So uh, you raised a great point. We're going to ask them to be a part of this first season. Yeah. Say, hey, for this school year, could you just yeah. commit? And, and as we were talking, you were right. The goal is to have them, of course, part. Uh, you know, to to sign up again next year and the year after that, yeah. year after that, yeah. right? But just defining that the term of your ask, Rob, just I want you to do this for this mm-hmm, season. Mm-hmm. Just be a part of this year and these guys' lives or whatever. Yeah. Probably a little likely to get a yes. You know, yeah. if, if I think, hey, I just got to commit to this for, for a There's season. light at the end of the tunnel right. if it That's doesn't right. work out. But if it does, they're yeah, in for a lifetime. They're yeah, they're re Yeah. Uh, the final one here is not an exclusive club. Yeah. But you can't just take anyone, yeah. right? Uh, the, the something that just popped in my brain. You know this about me, but I love reading about Navy SEALs. Or yeah. it's just yeah. there's so much to learn. That's Talk right. about leadership dynamics. Uh, anyway, in the, one of the most recent books that I read, it talked about unit um, pride. Yeah. Right. There's unit flag, and you would know this yeah. maybe a little bit more in the Marines. Your division. You're like yes. what? <laughs> no, but your division, your group. Again, yeah. since I wasn't there, I don't know all the proper vernacular. But like your unit, your squad, however, it keeps yeah. getting bigger. There's different um, excitements yeah. in that. Yeah. So at the church, we're raising the church flag, right? Yeah. When we get down into youth ministry, it really is its own club. Yeah, yeah, in a and lot it, of ways, right? It is exclusive, Yeah. but it doesn't need to be. I guess, so what I'm trying to say is is that you can't just take anyone. It's That's not like right. you can just grab a mirror and say, oh, underneath the nose, oh, it frosts up when you breathe. Let's sign Let's, them up, even if we want to do that Yeah, sometimes. but it also can't be, uh, you need to be 24, uh, yeah. really fit, like disc golf, yeah, you know, these kind of, yeah. and then all of a sudden it's not somebody there. So it can't be exclusive, but yet you can't just take anyone. Yeah, I think you're looking for that. Yeah, I think you're looking for that relational fit. You're not just trying to fill those spots, but you're looking for somebody that what they bring to the table and that he or she may be a 65-year-old retiree, right? right? And and that what they bring to the table to that group of 12-year-old girls or guys is like they've got something about them that meets that need. So, yeah, yeah, you don't want to, in some ways you want it to be select, not exclusive, but you can't just, you know, we've got to be It's There's a balance there because you want good culture. But I guess just in this is that don't just look for one, I say avatar, one type of of person. Make it a little broad, but also just don't say yes to anyone that's that's willing to. Yeah, you got to resist that temptation. I'm going to give you this bonus thing too. I would figure out what's the process. Yeah. Is there an application? Is there meetings? Work with your church, work, work with the staff to figure out what it is yep. to accept people in your youth ministry. Is it background checking? Is it reference checks? Which is just some safety things. Hey, and start early. That's another oh one we said. Oh my gosh, said. yes. If you're, listen, if you're waiting until June or July to, to fill those spots for your yeah. back to school. Which is sad if you're listening, watching, <laughs> reading right. this you now. You just now start thinking about it. It can still happen. Next year, just yeah, a little absolutely. earlier. Yeah, absolutely. Next year, start yeah. a little earlier. You you can, your best practices are a lot easier to put in place when you've got plenty of time to do That's it. That's good. Hey, uh, youth ministry is tough to, to go it alone. And so YM360, yep. we're here to partner with you. You, We say here at the office, you're the hero of our story. So thank you so much for what you do day in and day out, week after week, month after month. We know youth ministry doesn't stop. We can't wait to talk to you soon. Take care.